Hello everybody, Disciple here with Overwatch Curios and Overwatch Moments. Before we get into today's video, I've got a quick message from a sponsor and I wanted to share with you guys an awesome way to get free gift cards for things like PlayStation, Xbox, or Steam. The app is called App Bounty on Android and Blue on iOS, and you can follow the link in the description to check it out. Sign up with code OWM for Overwatch Moments for some free points, and then get started earning towards your own free gifts. You can do really simple things like downloading apps and completing short tasks that are absolutely free to you, and you'll immediately earn points that you can use not just for gaming, but on sites like iTunes, Netflix, and Amazon as well. I do about 90% of my shopping on Amazon, I buy way too many games on Steam that I haven't played yet, and I like to Netflix and chill with the best of them, and I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind having a little bit of extra spending money. If nothing else, you can get more loot boxes to snag those awesome event skins that aren't going to be around for too long. I've actually used the app myself long before they contacted me, and I can promise you guys it's legit, so check out the link below and give it a try. Anyways, let's get started. He's been flanked around the side there, and you can see Siegel, he's got his Dragon Blade ready and waiting to go. He's going to strut down oh, and quickly God. deflects it back in Icefeld's face. Thank you very much, that's an easy kill. And now that's a problem for Germany, because they lose one of their key damage dealers. And now the Dragon Blade is off. He goes in, he finds Ruster. Can he get himself a second? Finds RTA, goes in looking for Internet Hulk. He takes him down, and Skipjack, the final man standing, takes a shuriken to the forehead, and down he goes. The United States will roll on to the second checkpoint. Trying to hold him back, we're real close to the same landmark here. 55 meters, Ultima picking up a big kill on Reaver. And they're trying to see if they can make it in. The ults have been used on the method side. Trying to see if they can make their way through. Ultima went doing so much in close range, taking down Greco. Cloud9, they're, they're falling left and right. Dude, this is nuts, look at this guy! Ultima Web, this is your map. You are doing so much work. And now at crunch time as well, he just can't be stopped. He's keeping their hopes alive, but Cloud9, I mean, the May wall, the May block, he's buying so much time. Can they make their way out again, Cloud9? And then we stuck to shut that down early as Shadowburn, looking to set the Dragon Blade. Here comes Dragon Blade, he's going right in, takes out one right away, gets two. Who needs eight seconds anyways to Shadowburn? A three, 4K for Shadowburn. Genji is not quite ripped yet. That's kind of a strange switch, I felt like, I felt like Winston was working here. Uh, I personally quite like Winston here just because of the ability to hop in and out and control those side points with the bubbles as well. But uh, that it is what it is. Diva, of course, is still quite strong and still very popular in the current meta. Seagull now deflecting and trying to stay on the point as much as possible. He now has his ultimate available. He's by himself. This is overtime. He no has help. to buy time. If he buys enough time for the rest of the team to show up, do it. If he dies, it doesn't even matter as long as everyone else shows up. He does, and he got enough time. 78% plays, 99, but NRG should be able to take it to a mutual overtime. If you get on the point right now, though, ZP, three seconds less. Get the point with the transcendent to, to the out, of course, really, really quick as they do that. They are rushing in. Speak has Dragon Blade after ready, pushing against the wall. Does take out Forsaken. He had 18 HP, does not care. Gets the double kill, makes it a triple. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tavik. Oh my goodness, he had such low HP going into that! Shadowburn's just that little bit better and enough here for Bonjour to continue to approach further. As Shadowburn now has knocked off his high perch, off his high tower and back away again, being caught out of position, trying to dash towards Acorn. He's getting the payload now, Dragon Blade in to get the Nano Blade going there as well. This might be enough and it should be enough to face the hold right at the deck. Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful movement move coming in from Shadowburn using the ledge dash to get all the way over in a situation where he was completely outgunned, bought enough time, put himself in the best position possible for that Dragon Blade. Running with this composition, I think have this triple DPS setup. 
as you said before, hard blue. Well, I mean, he was he was behind the velocity, but uh, he's really just harassing one. Hold that thought, Ube goes in with a nano blade. Three kills off of that. And that will certainly put the complexity through on another team fight. For FaZe, FaZe must win this next fight or it is all over. C9, one defense away from taking it all. And here we go. It's going to come down the Shadowburn. Six magic seconds on the way. Dragon Blade is out, moving to the back line, has to deflect early, the Pulse Bomb takes out Adam in the back line, three kills here from FaZe, and Shadowburn going to get the cleanup he's looking for, as FaZe not going down just yet. So lucky to get out of that alive. I think he had less than 20 HP. Uh -oh. But that hook goes on towards Reinforce. He actually seems to avoid most of the damage coming in. You see the Biter Grenade already. Big Earth Shadow coming out from Reinforce. That's massive. And now Spicker to get to the back line. Does have his Dragon Blade. The Sound Barrier going to slave off a little bit of that damage. The Rujang Hong fell very early in the fight. Now Tavik still has more work to do. Because Miro and Dean have been wreaking havoc over an Unco and Wind. But as AKM from the top side, consistent damage coming in from that McCree with a vantage point. Tavik needs to stay alive here. The 1v1 is real. As control oh. the door. Oh. Shots coming in. He goes down. It's a headshot for Tavik. He gets the shurikens in and he gets it done. And he's looking for more too. He's looking for Toby. He's looking for this 1v1. As the Tasia gets the hook. Oh. But he gets fucked up by the payload. Even reflects. I think that was a fire strike in there. And he's going to hold. He gets the reset on his Toby. Thanks. Therefore, though, hitting Pedro gets two kills here in the back line. IDD, QD, and Custer are down. The threat of McCree is over. Surefor moving in with the Dragon Blade. Gets the triple oh, kill. God. Going for more. Surefor on an absolute rampage. Really, you're just going to have that one character, the Diva, trying to stay alive. Over time, now it's going to drop. You're going to have a soldier. Remember what we mentioned before, you want characters that are basically going to charge in and try and force his overtime for as long as they possibly can. Seagulls Genji, though, continuing to apply that pressure. They're going to have a Winston as well. That is going to come courtesy of Messer. Seagull doing his absolute best to clear him out now. They're going to be able to get that, and that will do it. They hold him off, and that will be time. Round three complete. Time. We'll see if they're able to do that. The collapse now coming in. Seagull with the blade. He needs to make it happen. He wants to ideally kill off. Oh my god, Four he gets kills. the four. I was gonna say he needs to get the tanks. Never mind that. He's getting the tanks and change and their dog as well. There is absolutely nothing standing in NRG's way now. Absolutely no surprise that this over will not be going to your third map as well. And Ultima actually gonna be holding on to the Genji. Charging right through. That's a lot of people lined up. He's gonna go for it again. He's getting the assist and resets the dash. And look at the dash. because just look at it. One, two, three, job done. Russia are going to be taking Hannah Mora with ease here. There's nothing that can do to stop them. You know, he wants to demand attention, but if he doesn't get attention, he's also happy with that one as well. Headshot to the Shuriken is definitely going to leave a mark. And Seagull's able to dash in and out of this fight. Germany cut down to only two players left. So US can run on in essentially on this one. They need to keep the pressure up. They've forced a staggered spawn, uh, I guess, hierarchy here for Germany. And the more kills they get, the more they exacerbate that. The more they make it impossible for Germany to actually defend with 42. Yeah, they got it, I think. Uh, Seagull's a good initial hold there from the side of Chile. But here comes Shadowburn with the Dragon Blade. It's going to be an Earth Shatter coming in as well. He's going to be able to pick up three, make it four, and that is just a disaster for Chile. Has dropped on the point, so very nicely done by Envy. They reacted well, split apart when they saw the Nano Boost coming in. Yeah. And now, again, the Nano has not been used for the Dragon Blade. In my mind, uh -oh. so far Whoa. in this finals, oh. Oh, as you see a little bit of duel going on. Operation Get Arhan, but they don't. He pulls out the Dragon Blade. He wants the kills now, trying to find Chips. Chips does go down. This could be it. Coco taking a lot of damage. Jin gets one kill as well.